All right, <clears throat> let's look at this problem called minimum time to collect all apples in a tree. So essentially, what is given to us is we are given an edges array, which gives us all the edges of the tree in an undirected fashion. And we also given a has apple array, which tells whether or not a specific node is an apple or not. So and then finally, the tree looks like this. Basically, you have this tree and you have three apples in it. And the question is, uh, so let's quickly read. So given an undirected tree consisting of n vertices numbered from 0 to n minus 1, which has some apples in their vertices, you spend one second to walk over one edge of the tree. Return the minimum time in seconds you have to spend to collect all apples in the tree, starting at vertex 0 and coming back to its vertex, meaning that you start from 0, you end at 0. And while you do the traversal, you collect all the apples or you touch all the apple nodes and you go back to the uh, tree and you need to find the shortest such path essentially all right so let's quickly have a look at the example in a whiteboard so we go and let's look at this uh, tree so it's 0 1 4 5 2 three, six, and these are the two, three Apple nodes. And so the path that's taken is obviously, now uh, you go from zero to one, one to four, back from four to one. Now that's the interesting bit to notice from four to, you don't go back to four to zero because there's another Apple to pick nearby. So you pick up that Apple and then go back to zero, then go to two and then come back. And total, this is a uh, total number of uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So total, there were eight edges that we had to traverse. And so how do we solve for this? So essentially what we're really interested in is finding, first of all, we're interested in finding whether a node, you will traverse a node, right? Essentially, uh, like we won't traverse six, we won't traverse three because they are not apples. Um, now, zero is also not an apple. One is also not an apple, but we had to visit them. Why? Because a subtree, their subtree, had an apple, right? So if your subtree has an apple, then you definitely have to visit those nodes, visit their parents, right? So we had to, to be able to visit four, you had to visit one and zero. Similarly, to be able to visit five, you had to visit one and five. Now, one thing to note is, if uh, you have to visit from zero to four and back to zero, it will take two plus two, right? And similarly, if you have to go from zero to five and back to zero, again, it will take two plus two. So if you do both, it will take eight, but that's not really, happening here, we are just taking six steps, right? So we go from uh, zero to one to four, and then from four to one to five, and then from five to one and back to zero, one to three, so one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So, so, and this is only six. So how do we figure out that it's not at six? Like how do we really solve for it? So how about we only look at, uh, like, like how, how would build from the leaves, like in like a post-order fashion. So what I mean by that is, how about I only look at this, right? Just, just look at this portion first. And this portion will say, okay, my left shell is of interest, my right shell is of interest. So whichever nodes of interest, its parent has to traverse uh, twice the distance, right? To sort of, uh, or like two times the edge uh, to sort of uh, go to that child and come back. So from its left child, one has to, for this, for its left child, one has to traverse two steps. For its right child, one has to traverse two steps. Now one is not an apple, but it has subtree in its apples. So for one, it to traverse, to get, for, to, for one to collect all the apples, it had to traverse four steps right? Two plus two. Now, what about zero? So for zero will say, hey, do I have to visit one? And the answer for that is yes, because one has an apple in its subtree. So one has an apple in its subtree, then zero has to visit, uh, zero has to make two steps. And one had already made four steps. Total, it becomes six steps, right? So we're building from the bottom up. We're building from the leaf towards the parent. So as we do post-order traversal, so we do post order traversal. 
right and we sort of we sort of build up the paths right and add up the paths and there are two kinds of nodes one is okay node uh, visiting node to visit and when will node be visited there are two cases if it itself is an apple or has apple in the subtree right then it has to be visited and if the node has to be visited that means then its parent will take two steps right uh, to to visit it and, and come back to it so that's the logic right let's try and build it in the code to to make more sense of it so let's go to code and so what what are we saying so first let's quickly build the tree based on the information that's given to us it should have just given us the regular tree but it has not given us a tree instead it has given us uh, this uh, edge and has apple so let's build a tree based on an adjacency list space representation so we start with a list of list of integer let's call it adjacency list equals to new array list point i equals to zero less than n plus plus so let's start add new list right like like how we build a graph i'm just building the adjacency list so now i go through each and every edge so for each edge in edges u is edge of 0 and v is edge of 1 since it's an, sort of an undirected graph let's just add the edge from 0 to u to v as well as v to u so i do adjacency list of get of u add v and in the adjacency list of v we add u right so the tree is ready and on the tree is ready then we do uh, so we need the path so let's do just to return uh, just uh, shortest apple path or whatever shortest path to shortest path length to collect apples that's what I'm interested in I start from index 0 and I will need the adjacency list. I will need this has apple who who is apple, right? And I'll also need where am I coming? Where am who was my parent? So for zero, the parent is nobody. Uh, we can maybe just do zero. I guess I don't know. Okay, so that's fine. Now let's do end and. This is what we are really interested in finding. And this is my index of the node. And this is the adjacency list based representation of the tree. And this is an array that tells us which nodes are apples. And we also need the parent. Okay. So now what do we do? Um, first we go to its children, right? So first we go to its children, then we go to for each children. So for each, uh, call it neighbor in adjacency list dot cat index. So now for each children we go. So we add up the path sums uh, for its children, right? So int uh, this is called path length equals to zero. So we do path length plus equals to okay so we don't want to go back to the parent right uh, like where we came from first so we ignore that bit so we do if neighbor equals to equals to parent continue and then so we go path length plus equals to basically we want to go all, figure out the path length for all of its children really right so so path length plus equals to you go shortest path length to collect apples uh this neighbor this adjacency list this has apple and now this parent will be this index now 
for the for the leaf nodes right uh, there will not be any children and so they will return zero i guess they will return this zero so you will return this path length now that's why i am at the leaf node it does not have any children so it's fine now whether or not that guy um um if i'm at if i'm i want i want <clears throat> so this is what i want to return to my parent so i want to return so that based on two things uh, so if i myself am a uh like a red node like like an apple right so if has apple of if that is one case or uh, if there if there is an apple in my subtree so how do we know if it apple in my subtree that would just be this path length will tell if this path length is greater than 0 that oh, that only means that there is an apple in my subtree right this is why i have to travel otherwise why would i travel down if i have to travel down to get to an apple that means uh, i have to be visited so in either of those two cases i'm going to do uh or just like make make into path length plus equals to 2 right so my my child my parent has to travel two steps uh, to reach to me that's what uh, we are telling it uh, but what about uh, index 0 if index 0 is an is itself an apple index 0 is, does not have any parent so let's let's ignore that case right uh, so if this this has to be that uh, index is not equals to zero right only then uh, that means i have a parent and if i have a parent then my parent will have to traverse two extra steps to visit me if i need to be visited and i need to be visited if i am an apple or there is an apple in my subtree then i need to be visited so i need to visit it that means the path length would be plus two so that's that's just the logic um let's run i guess uh, okay the three test cases pass let's submit and it gets accepted 